Hey guys, so you know how to use algebra now. However, we're going to go another step further now. We're going to use directed numbers in algebra. So all of a sudden, we have negatives as well. We need to know how to use algebra and negatives together. Well, guess what? We said from day one that in algebra, we follow the same rules as normal numbers and normal numerals. So pronumerals behave the same way as numerals do. So whatever rules we have for numerals, we apply them for pronumerals as well. Let's see these examples. I'm going to cover these ones and we'll do a couple more. That way you get the hang of it. You'll notice it's nothing different to numerals except that we have pronumerals as well. Here we have 5b take away 7b. Well, we know that 5 take away 7 is going to be negative 2. Negative 2b. 5b take away 7b. They are like terms. Yes, they are. We have a b here and a b there. That means we can take them away. 5 take away 7, negative 2b. Very simple, nothing different except that we are now using negatives. Negative 6g squared minus 4g squared. Now, can we do this question? Well, are they like terms? g squared and g squared, because we said we can only add or subtract like terms. Very important. Well, they are like terms. Negative 6 minus 4 minus 10g squared. The like terms, that they are g squared and g squared, minus 6 minus 4 minus 10g squared. So, like normal numbers, except we have negatives. Minus 4a squared plus a squared minus 3a squared. Well, are they like terms? a squared, a squared, a squared. Yes, they are. That means we can collect like terms. Minus 4 plus, now we know here there is a invisible 1. Minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3a squared and then minus 3 a squared. So minus 3a squared is from here to here. Minus 3a squared minus 3a squared is minus 6a squared. So same rules apply. Numerals, pronumerals have to follow the same rules. In algebra, we collect like terms a squared, a squared, a squared. Yes, we can complete this algebraic expression. Multiplication now. Negative 8 times 3x. Because it's multiplication, it doesn't really matter whether they are like terms or not. We mentioned like terms only applies to addition and subtraction. With multiplication, you can times everything together. It doesn't really matter. It becomes like a salad. Everything goes in and it gets mixed up. doesn't really matter at all. Negative 8 times 3x. Negative 8. We know 8 times 3 is 24. The negative, there's only one negative, it stays. And x, negative 24x. Negative 8 times 3x, negative 24x. So nothing changes. Normal. Negative 8 times 3, we know is negative 24. 8 times 3 is 24. One negative stays in the, in the answer because one negative in the question. And the x comes down. Here, negative n times negative 5n. So we have a multiplication. Now we know that 5n times n or n times 5n is 5n squared. And the two negatives, we said what happens to them? Bye bye, see you later. They basically go, see you later. So our answer is positive 5n squared. When we have two negatives, they partner up and go to the movies, they're gone n times 5n, 5n squared, because n times n is n squared, 5n squared. Here, we have negative 3x times 4x. Well, let's do it. 3 times 4, 12. We have only one negative in the question, so it stays. x times x, x squared. Negative 3x times 
4x, 3 times 4 is 12, the negative it stays because it's only one negative, and the x times x, x squared. This is the basics, very easy. What we do with normal numbers, we do with algebra as well. We just have to be careful with like terms and adding and subtracting. With multiplication, it doesn't matter. We can multiply everything together and we'll get the answer. And with negatives here, we know one negative stays in the, in the answer. One negative stays in the answer. Two negatives cancel each other out and they go bye-bye. This is how it's done. Let's do some more examples and you'll get the hang of it even better. Okay, four more examples now. Let's do them. Concentrate. Follow the rules and you notice you'll get them all correct. Minus 6y times minus 5x. Okay, we have a multiplication, so we don't really care about like terms because with multiplication we can times everything together. 6 times 5, we know is 30. yx, because y times x, yx, or we can write it 30xy or 30yx up to you, it doesn't really matter. Minus and minus, when we multiply two negatives together, they say, see you later, bye bye, they're gone. Our answer is positive 30yx. Here, minus 16b divided by 8. We know 16 divided by 8 is 2. We have our b and the negative. Does there, is there another negative? No, it stays in the answer. When there are two negatives, they cancel each, each other out. Very similar to multiplication. They both follow the same rules. With two negatives, they cancel. With one negative, it stays. So 16 divided by 8, or negative 16 divided by 8 is negative 2, and we have b. Our answer, negative 2b. Here, 10x minus 3y plus 5x plus 5y. We've got to be careful. This is addition and subtraction. We look for like terms. Well, we have 10x and we have 5x. And we remember the sign that belongs to the 5x is the one that comes before it. So this sign, this symbol, the, the, the plus belongs to the 5x. That minus, who does it belong to? The 3y. It belongs the symbol or the sign belongs to the number or the pronumeral on its right. And here the 5y five, the five and the plus are together. Very important for you to know. So it's 10x plus 5x, not 10x minus. That minus belongs to the 3y. 10x plus 5x, these are like terms. 10x plus 5x, 15x minus 3y and 5y here go together minus 3y plus 5y minus 3 plus 5 is positive 2y minus 3 plus 5 is positive 2y are they like terms no this is our final answer 15x plus 2y we finish there that's our final solution for that question here 3b squared, take away b, plus b squared, minus b, plus 5b squared. Let's look for like terms because this is all addition and subtraction. We have to make sure we have like terms. Let's start. 3b squared and b squared. And there's another b squared here, 5b squared. Let's start collecting like terms. If you like, circle to make sure you know which sign belongs to which one. The positive or the plus belongs to the one after it, that minus belongs to the one after it, that minus belongs to the one after it, and that plus belongs to the one after it. Very important. You can differentiate and know where the sign belongs to. 3b squared plus b squared. There's an invisible one here. So 3b squared plus b squared, meaning 3 plus 1, 4b squared plus 5b squared, so 4 plus 5, 9b squared. So they're completed now, 3b squared plus 1b squared plus 5b squared, 9b squared. That's complete. Now we go and we complete the rest. 
minus, there's a 1 here, there's a 1 there, minus 1b, minus 1b, minus 1, minus 1 is minus 2b. Our final answer, 9b squared minus 2b. Critical that you know your number line. If you don't know your number line, you can actually draw one up and use it, but it's important by now, now that you've covered and you're at this stage, you need to know your number line and you need to know your negative numbers. Back to front, you're going to be using them in algebra throughout high school all the way. Negatives are very critical for you to understand how they work. They're the basics. You've, you should have learned them in year 7. You need to know them back to front. So it's important that you know them here in algebra. We use them and we're always going to be using them throughout high school.